Hello, What's that my name is Libby and welcome to another Art Burst. Would you like to make an owl mask with me today? You would? Great, okay. For this, you will need some good thick paper or card, scissors, glue or sellotape, pens and pencils to colour in your owl mask. I'm going to be using a hole punch and some elastic, but if you don't have that, you can cut yourself an extra long strip of paper or attach paper together so it fits around the back of your head and you can attach it to your mask so you can take it off and on. You will also need something round to draw around. It could be a toy. I'm going to use the bottom of a plastic cup and the bottom of a plastic bowl because these will make really good owl eyes. Okay, are you ready to begin? You will need to fold your card or paper in half. And then with the bottom of your bowl, you're going to draw your first owl line. This will be the outer circle of your owl eye. And you want to draw around the bottom of the bowl and it has to be up against the edge of the fold on your paper. So draw around like so, so you have this outer circle. And then I've used the bottom of a cup and you want to make that in the center of your outer circle so you can see through your mask. So draw around the bottom of your smaller circle. And then I've drawn what looks like half a triangle and this is for the beak. So you want to cut out this shape, but remember, don't cut along the fold of your paper. If you do this, then you'll cut your owl mask in half. So you just want to cut around the side that isn't on the fold. So I'm going to cut around it. And around the beak. Now I'm going to open it up. <gasps> Ta da! Look at that! Your very own. Look at the shape. You have got your owl mask shape. Now you're going to ask an adult here, if you can, to cut out the inner circle so you can look through your owl mask. So definitely ask an adult to help you with this bit. So once you've cut your shapes out and your adults helped you, you're then going to decorate your owl mask. So I'm gonna draw the rest of my beak and I'm gonna put a line down the center of my beak and I'm gonna draw lots of feathers all around mine. There you go. I'm going to be doing this quite quickly, but you can take your time and it doesn't have to be an owl. You could do a tropical bird, you could do a cuckoo, you could do a crow, you could see a pigeon in the park and draw that, whatever bird you like. So once you've drawn your feathers and you've cut colored it in, that's what I've done next. So I've used my felt pens and I've colored in all the feathers and I've colored in the beak. The next part, is I'm gonna fold this beak along that line I made in the center of the beak, just so it looks a bit sharper and much more beak-like. There we have it. So just fold along that center line on your beak. Now I have a hole punch. 
So to make sure my mask stays on my face, I'm going to use elastic. But you could also use your long strip of paper or card. And if you turn your mask over, you could glue or sellotape it on to the back of the mask, like so. And you might need somebody to help you to get the sides of your head. But once you've done that, stick it to the other side of your mask. But if you're lucky enough to have some elastic and a hole punch, you just need to punch a hole on both sides of your mask, like so. And then you might need some help tying a knot with your elastic. So make sure you knot your elastic on one side of your mask, like so, and then bring the elastic over and tie it on the other side and do another knot there so it's nice and secure. And there you have it, your very own owl. Shh.